everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel, we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, it's that time of the year to show all the perfumes I finished up for 2022. Because based on, I'm not gonna finish another perfume up in a few days. So we are going to film this. I have it counted. Some of these I actually forgot I finished up. So I'm excited to see, you know, what actually I used up. So I believe last year I had so many um, sample perfumes that they had, I, I think, did I do a separate video for those? I can't remember. I don't have that many this year, but we're gonna start with those and then go from there. So the first one I used up is a Meline Fleur or something. Y'all, I can't remember how this, I can't even smell this anymore, but this is how I'm doing it. If it wasn't memorable enough for me to add it to a list, that means it wasn't for me. So that is one, wasn't for me. I know this one wasn't. This is a Mew Mew. I guess this is just Mew Mew. I thought it had another name to go with it, but it's this perfume. I did not really like this one that much. It, I, if I remember correctly, it was just too sharp, too loud, and I didn't like that one. So that does not go on any list. This is the Wild Fox perfume. I can't remember how this smelled either, but it didn't make a list. I remember that I, I remember thinking it was nice, but it wasn't full bottle worthy. Now I do remember that. This is Jimmy Choo, uh, the original Jimmy Choo. I wanted to use this because I wanted to decide if I wanted to get a full bottle and it just wasn't for me. It was, I just didn't like it enough to get a full bottle, y'all. So that is another one that I passed on adding it to any wish list. This is Pear Ink by Juliet Has a Gun. Now, I remember I went through a couple of these and I couldn't make up my mind on it. Like, I liked it, but I felt like I couldn't, the amount you got in here wasn't enough for me because the, some Juliet Has a Gun perfumes, you have to spray a lot. But this is one I did add to my list because I did like it enough to add it to my list to remember to um, maybe one day get it. This is Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun. I did enjoy this. I got a free full-size bottle of this perfume using a voucher from that vanilla perfume sampler. So I love this one, I already have a bottle, don't need to get it. This is Marc Jacobs Daisy. I do want to have this in my collection, but I just haven't gotten it yet, I don't know why. I remember never using those samples of Daisy. I've never had the original Daisy in my collection. And then I used those samples because um, I used some last year and then this year I had another one and I was like why don't I why haven't I gotten a full bottle I don't know why because it smells good and I like it this is Elizabeth Arden's white tea I fell in love with this I do plan to get it I just don't know when but I love that one it's very clean very just very clean and simple and you just smell good you don't smell perfumey you just smell good and I really like that this is another sample of the original Jimmy Choo. Like y'all, I, I was trying to make up my mind, y'all, and my mind was not for me, not full bottle worthy. This is Floral Street Wild Vanilla Orchid. I remember not really liking this one in particular. I don't know, I can't smell any of these now. They're not, they don't spray anymore. But I do remember thinking, pass on that one. Okay, what else do we have here? This is the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. I had a sample of this. I have a small, you know, uh, rollerball of this that I got in that set when I wanted to try all of the Nest Perfume Oils. And this is still not my favorite vanilla oil. I, it just isn't. Some days I like the way it smells on me, but I don't get a very 
sweet vanilla a lot of times on my skin. Sometimes I do, sometimes I feel like it's very smoky vanilla. I don't know. I don't dislike it, but it hasn't, I'm not convinced I need to pay $100 for the full size of it yet. I'm, I'm not there. Still, maybe after I finish the rollerball, then I will know for sure. This uh, is DKNY Stories. I remember liking this one, but I remember thinking it doesn't smell very unique, but it did smell good and that I was okay. If I'm remembering correctly, maybe it was a little fruity, perfumey. I really can't remember. Can I smell anything out of this one? No, I can't smell anything, but I, it, it didn't make a list. This is Euphoria by Calvin Klein. You know, I'd heard so much about this. If this is the pomegranate one, I did say, oh, I might want to get this, but it, I can't even remember if this is the one with pomegranate because I can't smell it. So I don't know, y'all. Tell, is it the one with pomegranate? I can't remember, but if it's the one that has the pomegranate, no, I did like it, but I did, it did, still didn't make me rush out to get it, but it was like on my list of perfumes that I might be interested in purchasing. This is another DKNY Stories. See if I can smell that one, no. This is House of Siage, what is this? Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary Edition. I love this perfume. I never, I wasn't able to get it because I wasn't paying the full price for it. And then, so I guess maybe when they had their sales, even with their sales, their perfumes are still very expensive. So maybe it wasn't deeply discounted enough for me to pull the plug. But I do, I remember liking it. It reminded me of a perfume I already have in my collection, but a little bit better. And I can't think of the name of it. I can't think of the name of the perfume. I can see the bottle in my head right now, but I can't think of the name. But it reminded me of that perfume, and that's one reason why I'm not like, oh my goodness, I'm so sad that I missed out on it, because it was very similar to that perfume. Okay, the last travel spray, well, the last sample size perfume I have is Toca Julieta. This I bought a travel size spray in this is very clean shampooy pretty and i do really like this and once i use the travel spray i do want a full size i really do like julietta from toka okay so let's see how many samples i used up. all right y'all so i used up 15 perfume samples so that's pretty good because let me tell y'all before we move on to the rest i am gonna go through my bag and I think I'm going to throw quite a few of them away because it's some I just don't like. I'm not interested in trying them out. And I, I'm not going to force myself to wear a sample I got for free. So I'm going to go through there and really clean it out and then slowly build my little samples back up because you don't get a lot of perfume samples anymore. So I don't even know if I'll ever have as many as I've collected over the years now, but who knows? So next we're gonna go to the travel sprays. I finished up this Killian Rolling in Love. I have a full bottle of this, I love it. Oh my goodness, I can smell this. Cherry, almond, sensualness, love this. Love it, love it. I also finished this travel size spray of the Sol Charosa 62 perfume from Sol de Janeiro. I did purchase a full size of this because I did enjoy, I, this scent has had to grow on me, but I do like it. So it was some sale going on and I got the perfume. So yeah, I invested in the full size bottle of this. This is Eilish by Billie Eilish. This is a beautiful kind of chocolatey, berry, spicy, vanilla scent that I do really enjoy. I have a full size bottle of Billie Eilish, so I'm good with that one. Don't need to repurchase it. This is Ellis Brooklyn's Sweet. Now this is one, 
I really like this, but I just don't know if I want to get a full size bottle, you know, anytime soon. Eventually I will because I did enjoy wearing this, but I don't feel like I just need it in my collection right now, but one day. So it is on my list. I finished a uh, Replica's Coffee Break Travel Spray. This is one I go back and forth on. You know, when I was told this smells like baby powder on me, that made me really want a full size of it. And it is, it's, to me, it's a casual lavender coffee, kind of powdery scent to where you really don't smell like coffee. I think you smell more relaxing and comforting, this scent. So, I just don't know yet. I feel like I will get one eventually, but I just don't know when. Replica's Coffee Break. I also finished a travel spray in Replica's by the Fireplace. Now this was one I said, oh my goodness, it smells like Bath and Body Works Bonfire Bash. But y'all, after wearing this a lot, this is so smoky, okay? Even when it dries down, that smokiness kind of never leaves. So I feel like, I feel like I would never get a full bottle of this. I feel like if I wanted it again, it would always be the travel spray because I can't take a lot of this all the time. And it's not a fragrance I would wear every day and that I would want to smell like every day. It smells good especially when it gets to that like jammy smooth kind of sweet part of it but that smokiness is always there so i feel like maybe if i lived somewhere where it was cold a lot of the time i would invest in a full bottle but for me if i miss this i think i would just get a travel spray again Okay, so with the travel sprays, I use up one, two, three, four, five, six. So I used up six travel sprays. And now we're gonna get, oh, well, this is considered travel also. This is Kayali's Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. Y'all, I fell in love with this. Do you hear me? And if I, I'm getting this. I'm going to get this. I hate I missed the sale at Kayali. It was sold out by the time I thought to go to the website. But this I'm going to get probably, unless there's some new release that I'm obsessed with, new fragrance release, Sephora Spring Sale, where you get 20% off. That'll probably be when I get this because I want this for summer. It is a beachy, but very pretty, floral, tropical vanilla scent to me that I love. I love this. It surprised me how much I enjoyed this. Love it. So that was seven. Let me make, I said six, right? So I finished up seven travel size fragrances. Now on to the full size. So this is Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. This is not lovely to me. I did not like it. I used this as a bathroom spray to, to use it up. And I had tried different combinations because people rave about this perfume on YouTube. And I see people using it. But it I can't stand it. It's woody. It's like, I don't know. It's just not pleasing to me at all even when i use it as bathroom spray i was like i'm still not in love with the scent but i wanted to use this up now when i used it as room spray i felt like okay i could deal with it but i couldn't deal with it wearing it on on myself i just couldn't so this would be i'm, I'm not going to repurchase it i'm not interested in trying it out again ever so that chapter is closed with me with lovely by sarah jessica parker even if i hear somebody raving about it again somebody i love i'm not getting that again one and done i have one more celebrity set i finished this is ari by ariana grande cute bottle this is good this is a floral sweet marshmallowy scent i do like this 
The only thing with this is I felt like I could never smell it on me. Now I did receive compliments while wearing it, but I never smelled it on me. I feel like I will eventually repurchase this, but I have another perfume that's comparable to this in my collection right now. So I'm not gonna repurchase it at this time. But I feel like R is gonna make its way back to my collection because it's very sweet. It's very girly, um, very nice. I do like Ari. It was my it's my favorite of the Ari on a Grande perfumes. So that's why I feel like I'm gonna get it again one day. I just don't know when. Okay, I also finished this uh, Chance Chanel Ofrage perfume. This is the green juice. This is one that it was very hard for me to finish, but. As I was using it, I really enjoyed it. To me, this is a unisex, clean, woody scent. Kind of musky. And it's not, to me, girly. It's not feminine. So I just, I'm not missing this right now. I enjoyed it while I was using it up, but I just can't see myself repurchasing it anytime soon. I would have to see if I miss this or maybe I'll get to a point where it's time for me to re-up on some clean um, smelling fragrances. And this might be one I would get, you know, because it is a very classy, clean fragrance. Even though I think it's unisex, my brother, when I asked him, he said he wouldn't wear it. It wasn't, it was, it was too feminine. So, I don't know. To me, it's unisex, y'all. Okay, I also finished this Versace Crystal Noir. Love this. This, to me, is a cold coconut scent that puts me in the mind of Lush. I thoroughly enjoy wearing this. I get compliments when I wear this. And this bottle is just adorbs. I found this at Marshall's or Ross, one of those stores, and they had the big 3.4 ounce bottle and then the one ounce bottle. And I wanted to at least use one of them, so I chose the one ounce to use up first. And it's just cute. That bottle is so cute to me with the color, the little crystal on top. I love it. I don't need to worry about repurchasing it because I have a full size bottle of it. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the Victoria's Secret perfumes that I've used up. This is Victoria's Secret Wicked. I thoroughly enjoy and love this perfume. It's a very like brown sugar vanilla scent. It's not complicated. You just smell sweet and a little edible. It's got a creaminess to it also. And it's on sale right now at the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. I didn't see the perfume online as of yet, but I did see it in all the stores I visited. And I'm going back and forth. I just don't feel like I need to repurchase it yet because I don't miss it. And I don't feel like this is going to be the last sale Vic Victoria's Secret brings it back. Because I've noticed with Victoria's Secret, unlike Bath and Body Works, they will bring back the same perfumes over and over and over and over and over and over again. And this is one that's on rotation. So I feel like I'll be able to get it again. So... It's a good one if y'all see it at Sass, at, at Vicky's, try it out because I love it and it was a compliment getter. I just don't feel like I'm ready to have it back in my collection. You know, we trying to see some kind of a dent, you know. This next one is also, all three of these are on sale at semi Eva sale right now, y'all. Shock, surprisingly enough. This is Victoria's Secret Tees Glam. This is one, the packaging got me. The scent is pretty. You know what this smells like? This smells like a softer version of Cactus Blossom from Bath and Body Works. That is what this smells like. This perfume is so hard for me to describe, but that just came to me. That's what it smells like, y'all. It is nice. It's one I got tired of. I, I don't even know why, because it's a very soft, easy to wear, feminine, pretty fragrance. So I would suggest checking it out because this packaging, like I said, is stunning, stunning. But I wasn't even tempted to get this one again. 
Not at all. <laughs> okay, the last Victoria's Secret fragrance I use up is XO Victoria. This is one I always speak highly of. It is a floral, green, powdery, musky, pretty feminine scent. I am not one who loves like green fragrances that note that freshness sometimes, but this is so pretty to me. And again, this was a compliment getter. Victoria's Secret perfumes are usually our compliment getters because they're usually not really complex. They just smell really good and really feminine, you know? So this is another one I would suggest checking out for during the semi-annual sale. Okay, so the last three perfumes I finished up are all from Juicy Couture. This is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. This is a soft berry caramel powdery scent. This is one, at first I was like, uh, Journey Fragrance, I lost his mind. Why is he acting like this is the best perfume for women ever? But the more I wore it, it's great to me for easy, sweet, girly scent. It's easy to layer and enhance different fragrances with. I loved it for that. I, can't, I do see me getting this again in my collection. Not right now. But I can see me repurchasing this because especially for a fragrance that has a caramel note, it's an easy one to layer. To me, the other caramel fragrances I have in my collection, they aren't easy to layer. This one was very easy to layer and that's why I want it back in my collection. So yeah, I finished that one. I also finished, I can't remember the name of this one, Viva La Juicy Soiree. This is one that... Again, Juicy Couture is like Victoria's Secret. They, they, they smell good. They're not complicated, but they smell good. This is one that was very shampoo, tropical, pretty, fresh, casual, fruity, easy to wear. I enjoyed it in the summer. This is discontinued. You'd have to hunt it down. It's not hunt down worthy for me. This is one and done. You know, it smells good. It smells good for a nice shampooy, fresh, fruity scent. I enjoyed it while I had it, but now it's time for it to go. All right, the last perfume I finished. I just knocked out some. <laughs> I think one of the crystals just came out. This is a Viva La Juicy Rosé. I remember still to this day when this first came out, I was in Ulta. I never purchased perfumes immediately and i was in ulta and i saw this bottle and i went oh and then i smelled it and went oh and i just bought it and then it took me forever to use it up this is again it's a pretty girly bubbly you know very pink scent compliment getter um i received a lot of compliments while using this up would i repurchase this one again maybe but not the full not 3.4 ounces no i would it would have to be 1.7 ounces and it would have to be i would really miss it but like with juicy couture they're always coming out with newer fragrances and usually they all kind of smell alike so my my thinking is why would i repeat a fragrance uh because this one does smell different i don't know of another one that smells as sweet as this but why would I repeat a fragrance when they all kind of smell like when I can try a new one? That's kind of what I think about Juicy Couture fragrances. So I can see myself potentially getting this again, but not anytime soon. Okay, y'all. So now it's time to see how many full-size bottles I used up. I have not counted, so hold on a second. All right, y'all. So I finished up 10 bottles of perfume full-size bottles i mean i'm happy i wish it could have been 12 that would be like one fragrance a month but i'm happy i finished up 10 because i didn't realize well and i'm counting this because i spent my money and i used it in a way that was good for me so <laughs> 10 fragrances i'm happy with that and the last thing i want to show you i got into fragrance oils this year so i have to mention i used up my vanilla musk fragrance oil from Nemet. 
This is my favorite vanilla fragrance oil. It's not Madagascar vanilla. It is this one. It's so, it's not like sweet cookie cake vanilla, but it's a sweet, very pretty musk vanilla that just goes with everything. I love it. So I had to show I used up one full size of a fragrance oil because y'all know I got into fragrance oils this year. All right, y'all. So in total, let me add up all of this and we'll total up how many perfumes I use up in all. So in total, I used up 33 versions of perfumes, including travel sprays, um, full bottle perfumes, samples, and the one perfume oil. So I'm happy, y'all. I'm happy. And like I said, I, I will continue to use up my perfume samples, the ones I like. I'm not going to force myself to wear the ones I don't like at all. Because I'm going to pick a day. I'm going to go through all of those. Keep the ones I'm interested in. And then I'm getting rid of the rest if I can't stand it. Because why am I going to force myself to wear something? No, I'm not. Especially when it was free. <laughs> you know, it didn't cost me anything. So I'm going to get rid of those. So y'all, those were all of the perfumes I used up in the year of 2022. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me, you know, have you used up any fragrances this year? If you have, let me know below because I would love to know. That's fun for me because, you know, we, we shop hard. So I would love to see, you know, what progress you all are making also with using up some, some items in your collection. Please share this video with everyone who's just excited for the new year and who's just ready to, to start somewhat fresh, you know. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.